um, I'm going to be showing you um, the way, a possible way to fix the E68 error. Um, I, this is, does not involve opening up your Xbox. So, this is pos this is a possible way. This um, fixes one of the causes, one of the causes, there are many causes for the E68 error, um, including a corrupted hard drive. Um, boot files are stored on your hard drive. So, I have the Connect dashboard, of course. Um, as some of you guys may know, this is XTS Beast, aka Midwest Mods. Um, so, as I boot it up, um, I'm going to keep watching, I'm going to keep the camera facing the Xbox 360 logo um, until it gets E68. It's going to be getting E68 very shortly. Well, I'm just going to. Alright, there we go. And it is coming up. There we go. E68 error with one light. Um, I have the tape overlay on here. Just, I don't know, makes it look cool. So, um, this is because the boot files that are on this hard drive are corrupted. So, you're going to need to run it off of the normal system cache. So, here's what you do. It's pretty simple. I should have just said this earlier. You boot it with the hard drive off. You can see I have the hard drive. I'll put that right there. Alright, no signal. Alright, so you boot it with... You can put a flash drive in here. If you have a flash drive, I'd recommend putting it in there, actually. Because it actually stores boot files on there, too. If it's configured um, as an Xbox 360 storage device. Alright, I'm going to show you right here. This you can use your um, hard drive but I'm gonna have to show you how to do it so you can use the hard drive alright so I'm gonna first open the tray alright hold on this is not gonna do anything right alright so yeah there we go um, you're gonna have to put a game in there or a DVD I'm gonna put in my COD World at War disc Alright, I would suggest turning on your controller. Be a good idea. Alright, play a game. Now you're gonna be. Now you're gonna wait for it to possibly load up. I mean, if you can hear that right now, the disc is um, turning at full speed. Alright, now you're just gonna plug in. You're gonna put on hard drive then it should freeze up and then turn off well it won't turn off it'll still you'll still see I, I don't know if you can see this very well but it, it's yeah it's got the right ring of light this thing um, the controller is still synced and the way you know this works is if Microsoft appears there whoa that was cool I just like touched it and it did it alright there you go See, I got my hard drive actually on. It's on, and it's booting up from the hard drive. See? Hold on, let me show you this. Just to prove that it is, in fact, reading the hard drive. Yep, my hard drive. Right there. It's got my storage information, so I would suggest putting this on your flash drive or if you have an external hard drive, that'd be very nice too. Anything that's not corrupted. So, every you're going to need to do this every time unless you buy a new hard drive, but it's, it can be pretty pricey. I'm going to buy one myself new soon. Um, I'm waiting for Black Ops to come out because I don't feel like doing that every single time I turn my Xbox on, which is what I'm currently doing. Um, the only reason I have the face plate off is, well, because it looks cool, I guess. So, yep, turn it off. And, once again, you have to do this every time that you turn it on. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that you have to do it every time. Because it's just not going to boot up properly. 
it, it refuses to boot up properly. Um, yeah, you can see part of the screen there. There, I'm gonna move that in so you can see both. That's poor. There we go. Microsoft, as you see, will not appear there. It will go straight into the one ring and E68. There we go. You can see the one ring, possibly. Um, if you press the sync button, I don't have a sync button. Well, I have a sync button, but it's just... Alright, hold on. Ah, God, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Alright, if it's... First, you have the bottom ring. Then you have top ring blinking faster. Then what I have right now, all rings blinking. Then one going really fast. And then the bottom one going normal speed. If you have that problem, well, that's my problem. The problem I have right now. It's probably, it's most likely what I have wrong. Um, the whole idea of pressing the sync button and the eject button at the same time is it gives you um more comprehensive error code um so that's pretty much it i i mean some people haven't tried this that's why i made this video just to show you guys that it is possible to boot up an xbox that has e68 you don't have to send it in um it's your choice if you want to send it in do not send in the console send in your hard drive um if you have any modified contents i would suggest taking that off because they will be reading what you have on your hard drive. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys later.